Hey everyone, so it's almost time for Christmas and I've been out on a little gift hunt to help you guys out with those tricky stocking stuffer decisions. So I've come up with Hair Loss Honey's 12 Days of Christmas series where I will be trialing inexpensive, under $15 gift ideas every day for the next 12 days. So these stocking stuffers could be for your friend, for a loved one who may experience hair loss or have an autoimmune disorder, or they could be for yourself. Just ask someone else to get them for you. So I just wanted to put a disclaimer up front that I have purchased all of these products from my local TK Maxx with my own money. So the review of these items are my own personal opinion. I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Okay, so enough with the intro and let's get started with Hair Loss Honey's 12 Days of Christmas Day. So in the early days of my hair loss, one of the most dreaded moments was the moment I had to have a shower. We always think we're going to lose more hair when we have a shower, that hair will just fall off when we towel dry our hair. But what if there's something that can turn this into a more positive and pleasurable experience this holiday season? So today I bring to you gift idea number two, which is the Norton Bear hair turban infused with argan oil. So this product claims to protect hair, strengthen hair and hydrate hair. And the ultra absorbent microfiber material absorbs moisture for a quicker drying time. So the sticker on this one says it's $9.95. I looked everywhere on the internet to find this brand, which is Nord and Bear. Unfortunately, I couldn't find it, but I did find some comparable products at around $12 to $15. So the price is pretty good. It's not a great bargain, but it's still a fair discount and it's under the $10 mark. So I think I should start testing and try it on. Right. So, okay, it's got a lot of sticky tape on here. Hang on a sec, I'll go get my scissors. So I keep stealing my partner's scissors because I can't find mine anywhere. Okay, I just ripped it. Ooh, so it's a lovely light blue. I love that color. Oh, I like that. That's really nice. And it is true to feel, so it is microfiber. So this apparently, oops, the silicone. So this apparently, has argan oil infused into the fabric. So it doesn't smell like argan oil, but again, no, it just smells like fabric. So there is no scent whatsoever. Although when I put it close to my eyes, I do get kind of a sensation, you know, like when you put eucalyptus oil or tea tree oil close to your, to your face, you get kind of a essential oil sensation. I do get that from this little turban. So yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. So it's like a hood. It has a button here and I think that's where you tie the turban. Um, so it has a long tail, a hood. The inside of this is slightly more towelette feel. Um, yes, so it's got some care instructions inside, which is really good. And I think I should actually try this out with some hair and without some hair. So let me go grab a human hair wig and I'll give it a try. All right, so the wig that I'm going to try the turban on today is on my John Renault Carry Human Hair Wig. So it's small enough to probably fit in the turban and for demonstrative purposes, it should be um, really good. So what I'm going to do is get a little spray bottle and spray this down. So make her quite damp. What I do want to see is after I wear the turban, will the hair smell? Will it, you know? Right now, it is it is a clean wig, so I'm just going to tone this wig at some point. So yeah, it's not dirty, but I just want to get it a little bit damp. All right, it's damp enough, so I'm going to put it on. Okay, so I have put carry on. Um, I've wet it down a little bit more so that I can feel the difference afterwards. So it's quite damp and um, I'm going to put this on. So as the time passes, I can actually smell the essential oils a little bit more from this product. 
So yeah, it's, it's quite pleasant. So I think the button's supposed to go in the back of the head. I haven't had hair for a really long time, so I've not needed to do this for a little while. So I think you need to tuck all your hair inside as much as you can. Like so. Tie this back and uh, away we go, I think. That's, um, that was a bit difficult because I haven't had hair for so long. I don't know how you need to tie it. Okay. Wow. So that's actually really weird. Um, it took me a while to put it on because I'm not used to having hair anymore. So it, I forgot how you need to put on a towel or a, you know, to create a bit of a turban look on your head. So I might have even put it on a bit wrong, but I just want to see if the hair underneath becomes a bit drier. So it feels very comfortable. Um, again, I've worn it with a very light density wig. So yeah, I'm looking forward to see how this works. Okay, so it's been five minutes. And I'm going to take this off. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. Yep. Oh, that's done a really good job. It's actually quite drier to the touch. Um, yeah, it is quite drier to the touch. Let me feel what this feels like. It's a little bit damp, not a lot, but yeah, this is absolutely dry to the touch. Um, I did soak the fronts quite a lot to get that moisture in and you can see it's actually fluffing up a bit as well so oh i'm really surprised by this i want to smell the hair hang on a sec so i'm really curious to see what the hair smells like yeah it has that it has that essential oil scent it's not overbearing or overpowering but it's really subtle it might also be the clean weed but i know what this smells like so yeah it has transferred a little to the hair. I can't tell if it's smoothed or softened the hair, but um, I can kind of smell it and it did do a good job of drying in five minutes. So I think I might actually try it on my baldy. So I'm going to take off my wig cap, spray my head and put it back on. So no exclusions in this house. If you know someone who's bald and you're looking for a gift for a baldy as well, I reckon this is actually pretty convenient. I own full lace wigs and when I set my lace wigs, I usually wear a ribbon and then I do my makeup. I could actually envision this on top of the, the ribbon and the full lace so that I can do my makeup for the day. So yes, I, can, I would imagine that this is actually quite convenient um, to wear. And for those of you who want to get ready whilst your hair is drying, this is actually really good to use instead of a headband. So yeah, I can see many uses for this and I quite like it. I actually really like this turban gift idea. I think it's a really thoughtful gift for someone who may be struggling with their hair or is experiencing some hair loss this holiday season. So I just had another great thought. So those of you who know Baldies and want a gift, a really great gift to someone who may have complete hair loss like I do, this turban would be great after a day at the beach. So in order not to wear a hat or if your head's still wet or something like that, this would be awesome at the beach. So just put it on and go. Um, yes, you're safe from sun exposure, your head will dry and yeah, it's a great towel. So thanks for watching my video and I hope you enjoyed my Hair Loss Honey's Stocking Stuffer gift idea. Please don't forget to subscribe before you leave so that you're notified about all the new videos in this series that I upload. And also like this video to keep me motivated for the next 10 days. So thanks again and I'll see you soon for day three of this series. Bye. Isn't there anyone who knows what Christmas is